Bratz is an American product line of fashion dolls and merchandise manufactured by MGA Entertainment and created by Carter Bryant. Four original 10 inch dolls were released in 2001 Yasmin, Chloe, Jade, and Sasha. They featured almond shaped eyes adorned with eyeshadow, and lush, glossy lips. Bratz reached great success and the original line of dolls was expanded with a number of spin-offs like Bratz Kids and Bratz Babies, as well as media featuring the Bratz characters, including a web series, movie, TV series, music albums, and video games. In 2005, global sales were $2 billion and, by 2006, Bratz had about 40% of the fashion doll market. Bratz dolls have provoked controversy in several areas. From the doll's stylized proportions to fashion-forward clothing, the brand has always followed pop culture trends closely. For years, MGA Entertainment was involved in a lengthy legal dispute with Mattel over the rights to the Bratz design. In 2011, the dispute ended with MGA as the victors. Related litigation is ongoing in a lawsuit by MGA alleging Mattel's theft of trade secrets. In early 2010, Bratz took a brief hiatus after Mattel's first lawsuit and returned later that year to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the franchise. In 2013, Bratz changed to have a taller body and an all new logo and branding. MGA Entertainment made the decision to completely overhaul the Bratz brand throughout 2014, in an effort to return the brand to its roots. As a result, none of the Bratz 2014 product line was offered to North American retailers. In July 2015, Bratz made a comeback and a set of new dolls were released, introducing a new main character called Raya to the lineup of Chloe, Jade, Yasmin, and Sasha as well as a new slogan and website design. The bodies were changed to be 10 inches tall again, but with a new body and head mold. A stop-motion web series premiered in August 2015. The Bratz app was released in September 2015 to accompany the new dolls and web series. The 2015 Bratz dolls were met with a negative reaction from fans, who felt that the dolls lacked sass and believed that MGA Entertainment ignored them and tried marketing the brand to the wrong demographic, taking away what made the Bratz special. Due to the poor reception and sales of the new Bratz dolls, only two lines were produced for fall 2016, and MGA replied to emails asking about the status of the brand saying that they are taking a break from making the fashion dolls. MGA Entertainment President and CEO Isaac Larian took to Twitter and announced on January 16, 2017 that Bratz would be relaunched for a third run, with many changes based on fan feedback. Based on feedback from many former Bratz fans, they rejected the new Bratz dolls and preferred the Bratz dolls released prior to the relaunch in fall 2015 and to some extent, prior to the relaunch in fall 2010. On May 21, 2017, the 16th anniversary of Bratz, Larian took to Twitter once more to announce that the Bratz would be returning fall of 2018. On May 21, 2018, the 17th anniversary of the Bratz, Hayden Williams announced that his collaboration with the brand would be released later in the year. He created a line of Bratz Collector dolls, in which he had complete creative control over how the dolls were produced. On the same day, the official Bratz Instagram account posted for the first time since deleting all of its posts, changing its profile picture back to the original Bratz logo, and reviving the original slogan. They posted a series of photos that comprised the phrase, Passion for Fashion. Topic products and history Though Bratz dolls fared poorly at their May 21, 2001 debut, mostly due to the long-held monopoly by Barbie, their popularity increased the following Christmas. In their first five years, 125 million products were sold worldwide, and, in 2005, global sales of Bratz and Bratz products reached $2 billion. In 2006, a toy industry analyst indicated Bratz had captured about 40% of the fashion doll market, compared with Barbie's 60%. The original line of dolls has generated a number of spin offs such as Lil Bratz, Bratz Boys, Bratz Kids, Bratz Babies, Itsy Bitsy Bratz, Bratz Lil Angels, Be Bratz and Bratz Pets as well as films, music albums, video games, and interactive DVDs. The success of the original four dolls generated a quartet of similar dolls in 2002 and 2003. Sets of twins were also introduced. The dolls were sold separately and in themed environments. Accessories such as playsets, furniture, and cars are also released. Four Bratz Boys were released in 2002 with others debuting in 2003, 2007, and 2008. 
Bratz also includes Bratz Boys and Twins. Lil Bratz 2002 are miniature versions of the original five Bratz and eventually included Lil Boys based on the Bratz Boys. In 2007, a clothing line was released called Lil Bratz Couture. Bratz Babies debuted in 2004 with infant accessories such as bottles and blankets. Characters from the regular Bratz line have been released as babies. Bratz Lil Angels 2007 are the newborn, collectible version of Bratz Babies. Smaller than regular Bratz Babies, they include their own newborn pets. Bratz Pets debuted in 2004 and were discontinued in 2006. They were plush toys resembling foxes, cats, and dogs with their own bags, clothes, and accessories. Bratz Pets have been re-released in Australia and the UK with bobble heads and accessories. Bratz Kids, the kid equivalent of the teenaged Bratz dolls, were introduced in 2006. The dolls were 6 inches tall and, thus, shorter than the regular Bratz. Bratz Boys Kids were introduced in 2007 starring four of the Bratz Boys. Soon after the release of the Bratz Boys Kids, the clothing was changed from fabric to plastic snap-ons. B. Bratz Dolls 2007 were designed for owner customization. With a B. Bratz USB key, the doll owner can take a B. Bratz doll online, name it, and create an online social homepage. Games can be played with the B. Bratz account to acquire accessories for the doll. In August 2010, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the franchise, MGA released their first Bratz dolls in a year. In addition to two comeback collections, MGA also released 10 new female Bratz characters on 10 October 2010. Bratz Party and Talking Bratz were in Target, Toys, R, Us, and Walmart stores. In fall 2012, the Bratzillas were released as a spin-off line, depicting the witchy cousins of the Bratz. In 2013, Bratz got a new logo, a new slogan, and the dolls all get new bodies with articulated arms, with a height to match their competitor Monster High while keeping their unique faces, and sporting brand new fashions. Only Chloe, Yasmin, Jade, Sasha, Megan, Fianna, Shira, Roxy, and Phoebe have been made in the new bodies. In January 2014, it was revealed that the Bratz would go on another hiatus but only for the United States for an entire year, in an attempt to rebuild the brand. This decision was made due to the brand's decreased popularity after their previous hiatus in 2010, which resulted from the lawsuit against Mattel. MGA Entertainment felt that it rushed the Bratz comeback in fall 2010 to celebrate the brand's 10th anniversary, and the company wanted to give Bratz the comeback it truly deserved. The Bratz returned in July 2015 with the introduction of Raya, a new character despite sharing the same name with a previous character, to accompany the original main four. The Bratz logo was also reverted to the original and a new slogan was adopted. Bratz were discontinued again in 2016 after a poorly executed rebranding and low sales. Creator, Isaac Larian announced on May 20, 2017 that Bratz will be back in fall 2018. He also announced the collaboration with fashion designer Hayden Williams. On Black Friday, 2018, the new set of Bratz collector dolls designed by Hayden Williams had released and sold exclusively through Amazon. Topic. Controversies The parental group Dads and Daughters were outraged by the release of the Bratz Secret Date Collection. The dolls were packaged with a Bratz girl in the right half of the box Chloe, Yasmin, Jade, Sasha, Megan, or Nevra and matched with a mystery boy's doll behind the door on the left. A window showing the doll's feet would provide a clue to which boy's doll it was, especially important in the quest for the rare Bryce doll, available in only one of every 24 boxes. The group complained that the dolls sent a negative message, said they were forcing young girls to grow up too soon, and allegedly promoting the idea of sneaking out of the house to go on blind dates with complete strangers. They also took issue with accessories that appeared to be champagne bottles and glasses, however, the accessories were confirmed to be bottles of smoothies. They called for MGA to remove the dolls from the market. MGA held fast, and the secret date collection later renamed Blind Date continued to sell. On December 21, 2006, the National Labor Committee announced that the factory workers in China, who make Bratz dolls, labored for 94 and a half hours a week, while the factory paid only $0.515 an hour. The cost of labor per doll was 17 cents. 
The retail price for a single doll ranges between $9.99 to $22.99, depending on the included items and specific retailer. The allegations in the report describe practices found at many Chinese factories producing name brand products for export. They include required overtime exceeding the legal maximum of 36 hours a month, forcing workers to stay on the job to meet stringent production quotas and the denial of paid sick leave and other benefits. The report shows copies of what it says are cheat sheets distributed to workers before auditors from Walmart or other customers arrive to make sure the factory passes inspections intended to ensure the supplier meets labor standards. It said workers at the factory intended to go on strike in January 2007 to protest plans by factory managers to put all employees on temporary contracts, denying them legal protection required for long term employees. After the announcement, the CEO of MGA Entertainment, Isaac Larian, sent a statement on December 24, 2006, via email to a fan site of the doll line, Bratz World, and another two days later to Playthings magazine stating that the information is false and the company is not familiar with the company named in the report and MGA uses first-rate factories in the Orient to make its goods, like Mattel and Hasbro do. Larian said that he never heard about the news or of the organization who is behind this negative and false campaign immediately prior to the last holiday shopping weekend. Bratz dolls have also received criticisms over what critics saw as a Changa Exu style. The dolls have been compared to what most Latinos and Latinas describe as Low class, slutty, tough, and crass young girls. This racy portrayal within a child's toy has been criticized for the negative effects as may have on young girls' minds as they are developing. In 2007, concerns over the body image and lifestyle the Bratz dolls allegedly promote were raised by the American Psychological Association after they established their task force on the sexualization of girls. In their published report, they cited concern over the adult-like sexuality the Bratz dolls allegedly portray. The report has been criticized for an apparent lack of supporting evidence and data. Bratz were not the only dolls to be criticized in this report, which highlighted not only toys but also other products and the wider media. In the United Kingdom, a spokesman for Bratz defended the toy line by saying that Bratz are purchased by over eights and are aimed at the preteen and teen market. They are for 10 to 18 year old girls, and that the focus on the dolls while on looks was not on sexualization and that friendship was also a key focus of Bratz dolls. The Bratz brand, which has remained number one in the UK market for 23 consecutive months focuses core values on friendship, hair play and a passion for fashion. The spokesman quoted Dr. Brian Young of Exeter University as saying, Parents may feel awkward but I don't think children see the dolls as sexy. They just think they're pretty. Isaac Larian, in comments given to the BBC, voiced the opinion that the report was a bunch of garbage and that the people who wrote it were acting irresponsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Legal actions The Bratz range of dolls have affected the sale of Mattel's leading fashion doll, Barbie. In 2004, sales figures showed that Bratz dolls outsold Barbie dolls in the United Kingdom, although Mattel maintained that in terms of the number of dolls, clothes, and accessories sold, Barbie remained the leading brand. In 2005, figures showed that sales of Barbie dolls had fallen by 30% in the United States, and by 18% worldwide, with much of the drop being attributed to the popularity of Bratz dolls. In April 2005, MGA Entertainment filed a lawsuit against Mattel, claiming that the My Scene line of Barbie dolls had copied the doe eyed look of Bratz dolls. MGAE even added the word only to the Bratz's slogan, The Only Girls with a Passion for Fashion to try and isolate their dolls from Mattel's, as many casual consumers confused the two brands for one another. Mattel sued MGA Entertainment for $500 million, alleging that Bratz creator Carter Bryant was working for Mattel when he developed the idea for Bratz. On July 17, 2008, a federal jury ruled that Bryant had created the Bratz while he was working for Mattel, despite MGA's claim that Bryant had not been employed by Mattel at the time and Bryant's assertion that he had designed the Bratz between two separate periods of employment at Mattel. 
The jury also ruled that MGA and its chief executive officer Isaac Larian were liable for converting Mattel property for their own use and intentionally interfering with the contractual duties owed by Bryant to Mattel. On August 26, the jury decided that Mattel was to be paid just $100 million in damages, citing that only the first generation of Bratz had infringed on Mattel property and that MGA had innovated and evolved the product significantly enough that subsequent generations of Bratz could not be conclusively found to be infringing. On December 3, 2008, U.S. District Judge Stephen G. Larson granted a permanent injunction requested by Mattel against MGA. Subsequently, on December 10, 2009, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit granted MGA an immediate stay of the injunction, thereby halting the impending recall of all Bratz products, ensuring that retailers would be allowed to continue to sell MGA-produced Bratz product through at least the court's final ruling on the matter. In their initial statement, the court suggested Larson's previous ruling was draconian and had gone too far in awarding ownership of the entire Bratz franchise to Mattel. The Court of Appeals also ordered MGA and Mattel to resolve their dispute out of court. In a statement from MGA, Isaac Larian states that, "...the court's stay is good news for all Bratz fans and for anyone who cares about fair competition." On July 22, 2010, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals declared that ownership of the Bratz franchise belonged to MGA Entertainment. The Court of Appeals rejected the District Court's original ruling for Mattel, where MGA Entertainment was ordered to forfeit the entire Bratz brand—including all registered copyrights and trademarks of the Bratz name—to Mattel. The panel from the Court of Appeals said Judge Larson had abused his discretion with his ruling for Mattel, concluding that Bryant's employment agreement could have, but did not necessarily, cover ideas as it did designs, processes, computer programs, and formulae, which are all more concrete, in addition to the litigation for ownership and control of the Bratz property. On October 20, 2009, artist Bernard Butch Belair filed a new design infringement lawsuit against both Mattel and MGA in Manhattan Federal Court, seeking unspecified damages. Belair claimed that his copyright designs of young women with large heads, oval eyes, small bodies and large feet, which he had created for shoe designer house Steve Madden, were pilfered. When Carter Bryant, during his 2008 court testimony, testified that he had been inspired by Steve Madden shoe ads which he saw in Seventeen magazine. Belair says neither MGA nor Mattel sought or obtained permission to copy, reproduce, create derivative works from or distribute his copyrighted work. In 2011, MGA prevailed over Belair. Judge Shira Scheinlin, of the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York, said in a summary judgment issued Wednesday that Belair cannot monopolize the abstract concept of an absurdly large-headed, long-limbed, attractive, fashionable woman." Mattel Inc. and MGA Entertainment Inc. returned to court on January 18, 2011 to renew their battle over who owns Bratz, which this time includes accusations from both companies that the other side stole trade secrets. On April 21, 2011, a federal jury returned a verdict supporting MGA. On August 5, 2011, Mattel was also ordered to pay MGA $310 million for attorney fees, stealing trade secrets, and false claims rather than the $88.5 million issued in April. In July 2012, MGA Entertainment sued Lady Gaga for $10 million for causing, according to the BBC, deliberate delays to the release of a doll based on her image. The Ninth Circuit vacated without prejudice the $170 million judgment from 2008 against Mattel on procedural grounds in January 2013. On January 13, 2014, MGA filed a complaint in California State Court, seeking in excess of $1 billion. This lawsuit is currently pending. Media. Topic. Movies There have been a number of animated Bratz direct-to-video movies. All of them were distributed by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment and later by Lionsgate. Bratz Go to Paris, the movie is a re-release of the three Bratz episodes where the Bratz go to Paris. 
Bratz Babies Save Christmas, originally released in 2008, was re-released by Lionsgate in 2013 as Bratz Babies Save Christmas, the movie. Bratz, the movie from 2007 is the only live-action Bratz feature film. It was produced by Lionsgate and MGA Entertainment. The plot involves the four Bratz girls starting high school. It received overwhelmingly negative reviews from fans and critics alike. The Rotten Tomatoes consensus reads, Full of mixed messages and dubious role models, Bratz is too shallow even for its intended audience. Bratz, Rock Angels first premiered on Cartoon Network in the U.S. in 2005 as a TV movie, and was eventually released on DVD by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment and later re-released by Lionsgate the following week. Traditional animation Brits, Starin and Stylin August 3, 2004, Bratz Babies, the movie September 12, 2006, Computer Animation Brits, Rock Angels October 5, 2005, Bratz, Genie Magic April 11, 2006, Bratz, Passion 4 Fashion, Diamonds September 26, 2006, Bratz, Fashion Pixies February 27, 2007, Bratz Kids, Sleep Over Adventure July 31, 2007, Bratz Super Babies, October 9, 2007. Bratz Kids, Fairy Tales, February 26, 2008. Bratz Girls Really Rock, September 22, 2008. Bratz Babies Save Christmas, November 5, 2008. Bratz Pampered Pets, A Rescue Adventure, October 5, 2010. Bratz Desert Jewels, January 10, 2012. Bratz Go to Paris, The Movie, October 8, 2013. Live Action Bratz, The Movie, August 3, 2007. TV and web series <laughs> Bratz Bratz had a computer-animated television series titled Bratz, based on the line of dolls. It was produced by Mike Young Productions and MGA Entertainment, and premiered on Cartoon Network, Cabillion, 4Kids TV, and on Channel 5. It became an instant hit, with higher ratings going to Cartoon Networks and CITV's broadcasts. <laughs> Bratz Design Academy Beginning in October 2008, Nickelodeon aired a Bratz-themed reality show, Bratz Design Academy, in which 9- to 14-year-olds compete in Project Runway-type fashion challenges, with the winner designing clothing for a British line of Bratz dolls. The show was nominated for a British Academy Children's Awards. <laughs> Bratz Rock MGA premiered a web series on October 10, 2010 called Bratz Rock on YouTube. It revolves around the Bratz as they enter a music competition held by fictional music star, Whisper, and as they get closer to finishing their song for the contest, they also uncover Whisper's true identity. The show's premiere episode was met with mixed reactions from Bratz fans. As of October 14, 2010, the series was announced as postponed, while undergoing changes. Bratz Macon the Band On January 24, 2011, Morgan Mendita, a man hired by MGA Entertainment to create a teaser for an upcoming Bratz reality series, leaked a rough cut of the teaser on his blog. The show, titled Bratz Macon the Band, is an online talent competition reality show, in which Bratz fans will form bands and compete via the Bratz YouTube channel. The final five bands will be flown to Hollywood, California, where they will be followed and interviewed by reporters. The winners will receive various prizes, including electric guitars. The leaked teaser also confirmed the release of a Bratz DVD due out in fall 2011, also titled Bratz Macon the Band. <laughs> Bratz web series. In August 2015, a new stop-motion web series premiered on YouTube. MGAE confirmed there would be 10 episodes for the first season, which would turn out to be the only season. All 10 episodes were compiled into a 25-minute video titled Bratz, Friends Forever on Netflix. The web series was seen on TV on Cabillion. Episode 1, Selfie, the Bratz pack design a photobooth to take better selfies. 
Episode 2, Skate or Chick, Chloe and Yasmin decide to build a chicken coop in the garden, but Jade also planned to build a half-pipe in the garden. Episode 3, Cupcake Crash, Sasha helps Chloe get over her addiction with a new video game app. Episode 4, Bunny vs. Cat, Jade and Sasha get into a competition to see which of their pets will attract more customers. Episode 5, What's Your Zen? Yasmin helps Jade find her zen when she cannot seem to focus on her tasks. Episode 6, If the Shoe Fee Fits, Raya starts a new trend when she goes to class wearing two different shoes. Episode 7, Put Your Thinking Crown On, the Bratz Pack each use their thinking crowns to help Sasha come up with something to wear for the talent show. Episode 8, Blackout Campout, the Bratz Pack help Jade overcome her fear of the dark when the power goes out. Episode 9, Snow in Love, Yasmin and the Bratz Pack help cheer up Raya after coming back from a fun ski trip. Episode 10, Behind the Scenes, the Bratz Pack create a commercial to advertise the CIY. Shop. Topic. Discography Bratz, Rock Angels Soundtrack 2005. Bratz, Genie Magic Soundtrack 2006. Bratz, Forever Diamond Soundtrack 2006. Bratz, Fashion Pixies Soundtrack 2007. Bratz, Girls Really Rock Soundtrack 2008. Topic. Games Topic Interactive DVDs Living It Up with the Bratz, two thousand six Bratz, Glitz and Glamour, two thousand six Lil Bratz, Party Time, two thousand eight Topic Video Games Bratz 2002 Bratz Rock Angels 2005 Bratz Forever Diamonds 2006 Bratz Babies 2006 Bratz The Movie 2007 Bratz For Real 2007 Bratz Super Babies 2008 Bratz Ponies 2007 Bratz Ponies 2 2008 Bratz, Girls Really Rock, 2008. Bratz, Fashion Boutique, 2012. Bratz, Action Heroes, 2013.